The statement of the Colombian irregular armed group Auto Defensas Conquistadores de la Sierra Nevada comes after the same Colombian parliamentary group denounced contacts with the Venezuelan far right, the objective of generating violence and attacks in the middle of the electoral process. Leonel Retamal has the details. On his ex account, the Colombian Irregular Armed Group of the Defensas Conquistadores de la Sierra Nevada denounced that they were contacted by the extremist Venezuelan opposition to generate acts of violence in Venezuela and make an attempt on the life of President Maduro. This group, also known as the Panchencas, is an armed group that emerged after the demobilization of a fraction of Las Autodefensas Unidas de Colombia. Our units in the Department of La Guajira have been contacted by the extreme right groups from Venezuela to destabilize the government of the Republic of Venezuela. The interlocutors have made all kinds of requests, among them to attack the Venezuelan electrical infrastructure, to act against the candidate president, Nicolás Maduro, to act in case he is re-elected by infiltrating protests and generating chaos in the streets. The Venezuelan president reacted to this accusation by requesting an investigation of those involved. The video is known one day before the beginning of the electoral campaign and a little more than three weeks before the elections. We are in a battle for the right to peace, for the right to peace, the right to peace, and no one is going to spoil Venezuela, I assure you. The Attorney General instructed to investigate this complaint as soon as possible. It is undoubtedly an attack against peace, against the Constitution, against the Venezuelan legal system, but also against the Venezuelan people. All this, and this is the most serious, within the framework of an electoral process, where some minority sectors of the right wing, aligned with the White House, have already considered fraud in case they are not favored by the will of the people. They wanted to kill me over and over again, and they couldn't. Venezuelan authorities have denounced nine conspiracies, including assassination attempts or attempts against political leaders in the last time, five during 2023 and four during this year, the most recent on March 25, during the registration of Maduro's candidacy in the CNE. Despite the constant security and counterintelligence measures, some plots saw the light of day, such as the attempted assassination with drones in 2018 and the GDO operation in 2020. At other times, the political situation of the country has been much more delicate, much more complex. The actions of these sectors have been very avid and with enormous logistics. All this with less experience of entering this scenario, the security forces have neutralized it. Although the possibility of political violence has been eradicated among the bulk of the population and political actors, there are remnants that still aspire to confrontation between Venezuelans. The agenda of violence in this country is discarded by most political actors, as well as by the Venezuelan society. Political forces continue their course of campaigning, while President Maduro has insisted on alerting social organizations to avoid scenarios of violence.